I think we do need to communicate differently, that's for sure. Um, and I, I think there are seven strategies, I call them seven strategies of we, which start with embracing chaos and talk about uh, never bullshitting and radicalizing honesty and transparency, loving crowds, but ultimately focusing on actions, not words. So I think there are new communications behaviors that we need to adopt. I, I would challenge whether we live in a post-truth or a post-trust age. Um, I think there's a lot of media noise about this. I think that the data, however, doesn't support the noise. Um, the data on trust and truth hasn't really changed over 20, 30 or even 50 years across a whole number of countries, continents and the world. Um, what we have is not a crisis of trust, but a crisis of leadership. Uh, and therefore we need to communicate differently around a different form of leadership and where we can combine different communications, different leadership, different business models, then we have a new paradigm of communications emerging. Well, how can risk embracing be a form of growth? I'd flip the question. If you don't embrace risk, are you actually going to, to, to hinder growth? I think part of the problem is that we've spent generations trying to impose control, trying to impose trust. Trust no longer flows vertically, downwards, imposed from the top of an organization down into an organization or to customers. It flows horizontally among networks, among peers. So it's a different form of growth that's emerging. So the people, if you like, who were, who were previously at the bottom of the pyramid could rise up with activism and anger and to destroy the very organization that is trying to optimize its growth or optimize its profit. This is therefore entirely counterproductive. We have to go with the circumstances and condition of the world as it is today and tomorrow, not the way the world once was. Different growth paradigms, different relationship paradigms, different trust paradigms, different flows, if you like. Ultimately, the future can only be negotiated, not imposed. That means negotiating risk as well. <laughs>